DIY number one. What you see here is just a little wooden Christmas tree that my sister had given to me. I'm going in with the color of ballet slipper and I'm just giving it a good coverage of, of the pink. Now I'm going in, I got these little pearls from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna go in, I'm adding one to the top and then two across and then three as I go down just filling it in and this little tree turned out so cute I'm going in on the bottom and I'm gonna be using the color of hazelnut by Waverly and I'm just uh, I'm going to be painting the stand as well as the trunk with this color and I go in and I add just a ribbon for the holder and this little uh, tree here is going to actually be sitting closer to the top on my tree and I think it turned out really cute and I hope that you all like it too. I was really looking forward to making some ornaments for my tree. Okay, and we're going to see there's the finished project there. I just love the pink color. And on to DIY number two. I got a little sled from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go in with the color Apple Barrel by Apple Barrel in the color white. And I'm just painting it all over. I will be removing the jute twine little hanger at the top and adding a, a white ribbon. Just making sure that I get the back as well as the sides and all covered. Now I have a little piece of scrapbook paper that I'm going to be using and I'm going in with a glue stick here and I'm just going to be gluing it to the front part of this sled. You can see I used it till it was gone. Every little drop. I'm placing on the scrapbook paper and just, give, just pressing it down, making sure I get the sides pressed down really well. And then I done the little piece at the top, adding more of the glue stick. I think this turned out wonderful. I mean, you can do so many things with these little wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. And I had two little pearls like that I used on the Christmas tree. I'm just going in and putting one on each side right there. And then you'll see that I'm going to be going in and adding an embellishment. <clears throat> This actually came from another ornament. I'm just going to be adding it right there. And that's exactly like that was the perfect touch for that little ornament. DIY number three. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, I have these little angel wings. These also came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go in with some puffy paint here. I'm just going to juice it up a little bit. Just going over the lines with the puffy paint. I go in and add a ribbon for the hanger. And I think this turns, these actually, <clears throat> every year, I like to incorporate something, you know, that has to do with my father. He has been gone for 16 years. And, you know, still yet to this day, I like to remember him around the holiday times because Christmas was his favorite holiday. So I'm kind of making these in honor of him. And again, I would like to apologize for the traffic in the background. 
I live in a, a high, high traffic area and there's no avoiding it. I'm, I could do this at three o'clock in the morning and there's still going to be a car going by. But it's, it is what it is, but thank you for sticking with me. Okay, here I am as I'm going to be, there it is. I added a little embellishment to the top of the angel wings as well. On to DIY number four. I took some more of the scrapbook paper from that scrapbook paper book that I picked up from Joanne Fabric. And I've got this little wooden star cut out from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going in with my glue stick and I'm just placing it down, making sure that I have all the edges down. I just add a little ribbon in the back to hold it up. I go in and I actually add four of the little pearls on all four corners. There's a little saying right in the middle. And I'll just be placing one pearl down or two pearls on each side. And that one is finished. DIY number five. Okay, gotta have a wreath of some sort. So what I'm doing here is I have these little beads, little pink beads that my daughter had picked up for me at Walmart. And I'm going in and just adding them around the wreath just in well actually the wreath had these little berries like indentions that look like berries and I thought I'll just add these little pink beads in place of the berries I actually go in and add some white as well and what I was not able to get on film which I have no idea what happened is I added these two little nutcrackers in the middle of this and that was the perfect touch. You'll be able to see it in the final reveal. Like I said, most of these, like 99%, 98%, I should say, of the little things I'm working with there, the little pieces, I should say, came from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar's General. But at this, you know, this little video is just showing you how you can just dress them up just a little bit and add your own touch. And I absolutely love these little beads. Here's the finished project. DIY number six. Okay, I have the same scrapbook paper book. Took a piece of paper from that. And I have this wooden plank from plaid and I went in and I traced it out. I'm just going to be cutting it out with my scissors and then I'm going to be using the glue stick again and gluing it down on the wooden plank. Here I am just going in and trimming it, making sure that I have it, you know, lined up the best that I can. And I'd like to take this time to thank you guys. If you made it with me this far, I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I ask that you subscribe and that you give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. Helps YouTube to notice me that much more. Ask if you would hit that notification bell. It's going to keep you informed each and every time that I upload a video. I also have this little deer here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and you can see I was going to use it on another project and I changed my mind and I thought well I'll use it on this I just put it down on here like so and I add a ribbon for the hanger and I go in and I add a little bow around the neck as I figured it I just thought it needed just a little bit more
you know, and it just goes, like I said, it goes to show how you can change things up just with a few dollars. And I'm just going in and trimming it a little. And I hope that you like the final reveal of this project. Thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. After, <laughs> we have DIY number seven. That's a blooper. I have a snowflake, as you can see. Picked it up from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is just filling in the little hole with some hot glue. Because I couldn't find my spackle, but this worked fine. And I'm going in with the color Apple Barrel White. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing. And here we go. Just painting the whole entire snowflake. I'm sorry guys, I thought I was done with my DIYs, but <laughs> I forgot about this little one. Oh well. Okay, here here's some more beads my daughter picked up for me. And I'm going to be going in and just adding them in random places around on this snowflake. Man, I swear if we, you know, did a contest on what videos that we put out that has the most bloopers, I'm thinking this one might win. But I'm not going to edit it, edit them out because this is just, this is real life here. This is what you go through when you, you know, try to do a video. I go in also and I just add a ribbon for the hanger. And I think this turns out so cute and I hope you like it too. Now I can say thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking time to watch. And as I always say, have a blessed and wonderful day.